hey guys ever since i made my last video on zahid scratch os uh, uh, it's not my last i think i made a couple of more videos after it and uh, a lot of you were asking me how to write a own uh, operating system and uh, writing own operating system from scratch is not something easy task believe me guys and this is uh, what i have written in SM assembly and many of uh, you didn't know anything about assembly and you were requesting me to do that in python and you should know that uh, python is in the language and which i also explained uh, that uh, python uh, can't be used uh, uh, for uh, such low level tasks so for this uh, we only need assembly even if we use c we need to integrate it with assembly codes there will be assembly codes and many of you will wouldn't understand about video registers and all that stuff uh, but with latest cosmos uh, release i think this won't be the case anymore because uh, this is a kind of uh, uh, a kernel uh, written uh, in uh, assembly and uh, c and uh, then there is a c sharp uh, what do you say there is a compiler and uh, there is a c sharp uh, uh, wrapper for it and which uh, uh, by doing this you can actually write uh, uh, operating by using this you can actually write an operating system in c sharp and i have used this uh, tool previously but i didn't mention this tool because uh, this tool isn't uh, very great and it uh, crashes a lot of time but with the rate latest release i hope so this won't be the case uh, but this tool actually crashes the visual studio itself uh, a lot of times and for this uh, trust me guys you need a, a great ram uh, minimum um, 4 GB RAM you require a DDR3 or DDR4 GB RAM in your PC and then you also require a good processor with lots of threads uh, Visual Studio will itself take two threads I think then we have a, a VMware workstation which will take two threads and this may take two threads okay so you need a quad core with the four threads okay so this uh, is uh, the latest release which you, uh, you need to download uh, um, but uh, before you download make sure you have installed all of the dependencies including the no setup and uh, visual uh, .NET core in visual uh, uh, studio uh, 2.0 and we also need a uh, .NET framework uh, 4.7.1 developer pack okay so make sure you have uh, installed this before we begin so let us begin After you have downloaded this kit, click on open when and it will open. Uh, let me open from the folder itself. What's happening? Click on yes. so we need to select the language i will select english because it's my preferable language i clicked on many times click on i accept click next click next So guys it has finished and it took a lot of time um, and it does uh, take a lot of time usually because uh, cosmos is something very heavy so now let us open visual studio
so guys no steps were missed i did pause for uh, some time and it took a lot of time and then it was just like saying finish so the visual studio has opened now let us create a new project So it sums just search over your cosmos. It's over here, but I'm just showing for you as uh, it won't appear for you. Okay, and select this cosmos C sharp. Okay, for C sharp as we are going to use in C sharp. Okay, so bb 0 s okay i am giving just some random name bb 0 s you can give your own name make sure it doesn't have spaces or it won't work don't make use of any special characters or space so it's creating the project and uh, it takes uh, several minutes sometimes depending upon your RAM in this case my machine has uh, 10 GB of RAM so it's quite fast so it has opened okay so basically now let me explain you what this is this is just some random line so okay this uh, this is just uh, will print this and this is the loop where this actually runs this is before run and reload the projects okay so let me just rename this to ppz os Um, VVZOS, I just give a random name. Very basic Zahid uh, operating system. <laughs> it's cool now. And uh, this is the run loop. This loop is actually going to repeat again and again. So, whatever our code will be, will be in this loop. Okay, so this is some uh, very basic uh, code. Uh, this will just uh, write the code. This will uh, read our. Uh, 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 read our uh, what you say scanner class and read our uh, whatever the text we typed in the console and this will just write the same okay along with this okay so it's a very basic one so let me save and uh, run it to show you the example so it's a very basic operating system but uh, we will uh, do something more complex than this because this is a uh, very basic and it's uh, uh, ready-made template so we'll do some of our own coding first let me show you the example so now you may see this is uh, first uh, it's building the dll so what it's doing is it's compiling from c sharp into the assembly okay then it will uh, be going to create a bin file okay uh, when the bin file is created uh, the main uh, task is over okay so it takes a couple of minutes and after the bin it uh, creates ISO from the bin files okay there will be two bin file one is bootload order and other will be the kernel or there will be bootloader.asm file it will be either .asm or .bin file So you can see it has created the bin file okay and now it's creating its ISO now it's uh, running in uh, VMware 
so you can see this Uh, there was some error with my VMware. I actually pressed uh, Ctrl plus Alt, which I shouldn't do that. Let me pass away. So if I type hi, see this is going there. Okay. So this is your own very basic operating system. Okay. You can see this is a uh, running inside of VMware. So let us close this, power it off, and let us modify it. Uh, let us create some of our own code. So what we will do, do is we will create a function. Okay. So first, yes, uh, let us create a function. So we will click, uh, create a handler class handler for input. Okay, and we will type in input. Okay, over here click on quick actions. Okay, we now paste the same code over here. Okay. Now we will use if statement, if else loop. Uh, so we will check if input double equals to help. So if input is help, let's us say help. Um, what uh, we are going to do is we are going to um, print okay. console dot write okay we are going to write okay write line we need uh, space okay so what are we going to write line is for next line remember that so we are going to meaning it will it's like a print ln in java so we are going to type uh, let's uh, for following our uh, command slash mm. n and uh, what will be the commands help for help okay semicolon here over here the warning is annoying actually so then we will type um, built for getting the built version build version and uh, we'll have an about about OS
and uh, let me write for calculate slash n calc ok this will be the function uh, about over here small I did something yeah. now over here is uh, yeah this is uh, now we will uh, create um, some more commands else if input double equals to about ok so if it's double equals to about I will write console dot right line very basic Zahid OS version one. Okay. Else, if it's a uh, built if uh, input double equals to built, uh, so console dot right line. This is our second build, so 0.2. This will be our second build. Sorry. So now we will go to be making a function for calculate. Else, if Double equals to calc. Okay. what we are going to do over here is input ok we are going to convert the input over here to string uh, to, uh, what am I doing is uh, input is not required over here uh, we are just going to print ok now Enter to be calculated. Enter the calculation. 
to be computed okay and then uh, what we are going to do is we are just uh, going to read and uh, in input to equals uh, to console lord read line okay One second. It should come automatically, but I think it's not coming automatically in my Visual Studio. So let me face it. We are going to do is convert to input to okay and what we are going to do is we are going to print this console dot right line okay I am actually doing C sharp after a lot of time. In this time, I have uh, not used C sharp for quite a long. Not Visual Studio. I was with uh, NetBeans for this time. And uh, with the sublime text so yeah it has started debugging let's see if it's work So uh, the build has been completed. I think bin file is left. So it's taking a lot of time. I guess it's uh, due to my these methods. <laughs> yeah, I did this. So make sure you don't violate the naming uh, rule of convention. I actually wrote the handler class in small 
actually I haven't used the C sharp for quite a long let's say type help about build can okay so let us do this 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 plus 1 okay So it's taking a quite a long. <laughs> it crash as expected. It's not due to naming convention, it's actually the thing which isn't capable of computing by this. So yeah, yeah, we created our own basic operating system even though it uh, didn't uh, work. So we will solve the errors. It uh, isn't uh, any much big of an issue. Let me just make this capital H. And uh, for input, let us try that again. So it was Cosmos, as you can see. So this one time we'll try simpler, 1 plus 2. One plus two. <laughs> I think that should actually be computed. I don't know if that will be. So my review of uh, this is it has uh, actually changed quite a lot. Even my hardware has changed quite a lot from uh, past uh, few five six years. Uh, this hardware is the latest hardware uh, as compared to five six years earlier. C sharp has uh, grown a lot now, but uh, it has come to a saturation kind of point nowadays. C sharp and we've been at people don't use it. Uh, Python has started to uh, grow and people are going back to the low level uh, C and C++. Uh, it's a quite interesting thing to see that this trend in uh, the industry.
one. Plus two. Let us check. Oh, I forgot to add calc. One plus two. I don't think it should crash again. It has crashed again that I'm stopping the video over here. That's alright guys, this is a tutorial. I don't think uh, you should go for this if you are making an operating system. Go for NASM assembly. That's the best choice for you. I'm going to shut this off.